Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome back to another story time with Mr. Kepke. Hope that you had a wonderful day at school today. Today was an early release day, so you actually got home a little bit early. Hope that you can sit back, snuggle in, and enjoy our book this evening. It's a great book. It is entitled Two. Two by Catherine Otashi. So sit back, snuggle in, and enjoy. Two was a playful number. Some of you can relate to two because you're playful as well. She was curved on the top, straight on the bottom, and friendly and warm like the sun. Her best friend was one. Whenever they'd get a chance, they'd dance. She'd sing and snap, he'd tippity tap. What a pair they made. At the end of each day, they'd always say, one, two, I'll count on you. Till the end, we'll be best friends. Until three jumped in between them. You two are like glue, said three, poking fun. Shake things up. Come play with me, one. Odds are better than the rest, but one and three are best. Two felt a shift. She watched one slowly drift away from her. Two felt left out. Can I play two, she asked. You've had your time to play with one answer three. We're playing odds only right now. Two was blue. What did I do? One left without a word. Is it because I'm even and they're both odd? Let it go, said zero. Just ignore them, added four. Have you ever felt what it feels like to be left out? It's not a good feeling, and that's how two feels right now. But two couldn't let it go. At every turn, what did she see? One playing with three. One, three, odds will be, they say. Two felt a little green. Her heart felt sick, and she began to crack. It's always very hard when you see your best friend start to be best friends with somebody else. The evens rushed over to comfort their friend. Such a shame things aren't the same. Three is silly, said four. One can't be best friends with three. It's unlucky, said six. One and three are just plain odd. Let's get even with those odds, exclaimed eight. Is getting even always best? Five, seven, and nine overheard the chatter. What's the matter? There's nothing wrong with being odd. Evens are great, stated four, six, and eight, sometimes greater than the odds. Zero saw the numbers collide. Why did everyone need to take sides? Five, seven, nine. We're all odd and we're just fine, shouted the odds. Four, six, eight. Being even is first rate, yelled the evens. Zero watched this hullabaloo. She raced over to two. The numbers are dividing. Now the odds are at odds with the evens, and the evens want to get even with the odds. Two felt split. But what can I do, she asked.
Have you ever felt torn between two groups of people? Half of me doesn't care about the odd pair. Maybe it's time for me to be done with one. That's the smaller side of you talking, said Zero. You're greater than that. The evens and odds are in a fight. What if you can make things right? Can you find it in your heart to see a new angle to this, possibly? Two thought and thought and then. You're right, she exclaimed, flipping herself around. It is in me. I can be less than I've been or greater than I am. The choice is mine. Two pulled herself together and stood up tall. I have something to say to you all, she said. It's not easy to say, but I've come to see it's tricky to dance when there are three. One should have other friends, and the same goes for me. Three drooped. I'm sorry, too, he said. I see now that playing the odds wasn't fair to you. Well, here's where we can all agree, said two. When the dance turns and shifts, that's groove and flow. If you're holding too tight, let go. Dance to your own beat. Do your own thing. Be free to explore what the new day can bring. Explore, cheered four. Dance and mix, said six. Rock and roll, said seven. Shake it up, they shouted. Soon all the numbers were dancing together, moving and grooving, shimmying and shaking, and spinning around like tops. It's fun to dance with everyone, said the numbers. Two spun faster and faster, round and round. She got so dizzy that... Oops, she bumped into one. He teetered and toppled, almost fell down, but two caught him. Sorry, said two. Me too, said one. Both said nothing for a while. Then one said softly, hey, two, can I still count on you? Two looked at one and said, it's the end. And guess what? We're still friends. This book teaches a wonderful, wonderful life lesson that many times in life, uh, you're going to have some disagreements, especially amongst your friends at school. Sometimes you're going to get pulled from one group to another group, or you're going to see your friends have other friends. But you need to understand that that's okay. You just need to always be you. Be accepting of everyone. Be nice to everyone. Be a friend to everyone because everybody needs who you are. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I want to tell each of you that I love you very, very much.